Marion Williamson, the author of A Return to Love, says that we manufacture depression through loveless sex. Sex can often lead to depression, especially when it's casual. So I talked to you a little bit about dopamine and, and how dopamine can increase during casual sex for the excitement and it motivates you uh, to do it again. And then the, the plummet of dopamine can lead to some depression and anxiety as a result. But there are other chemicals that are involved in sex, including casual sex. And one of those chemicals, oh, actually we'll talk about two of those chemicals, vasopressin and oxytocin. Both men and women respond to vasopressin and oxytocin, but they respond to them differently. Vasopressin, men are much more sensitive to. And what vasopressin does is that it, it sort of ignites the sexual craving, ignites the chase. Oxytocin is the bonding hormone. It is the hormone that gets released when a mother births a child. It is a, the hormone that gets released when a mother is breastfeeding to bond her to her child. Well, guess what? That hormone also gets released when we're having sex. It gets released both for men and women. We'll both feel bonded. Certainly women often feel more bonded than men because they're more sensitive to that hormone. But what happens when we're having casual sex now with multiple people time after time? We, we're, we become a little desensitized to that hormone. It doesn't bond us in the way that it would before. And you might think, well, Dr. Dion, that's, that's great. It's casual sex. I don't want to be bonded to this person. But what happens when you meet the person that you do want to be bonded to? And now you can't form that bond. The science is out that sometimes when people are having casual sex, they have a difficulty bonding long-term with their partners, with their lovers, with their husbands and their wives. Now, I can't tell you for sure how many casual sexual encounters that you need to have in order to desensitize yourself and have difficulty bonding with people. Some studies say it's five. After five encounters of casual sex, then you struggle to bond. Some studies say it's 10. Everybody's different. But you need to know what it is that you want for your life. Do you want down the line to have difficulty bonding with somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with? Do you want down the line to be in a long-term committed relationship or to be in a marriage and now be craving other people and be addicted to the dopamine levels or having difficulty bonding to your partner and then trying to seek that bond elsewhere. That is what your brain is doing and that is what, how your brain is responding to the casual sex that we are seeing in society. <laughs>